Joining us now is Wedbush Senior Vice President of Equity Research, Jay McCandless, to talk more about this group. Jay, um, obviously we've seen some response to lower mortgage rates in some of the, the new home data, the mortgage apps and things like that. What are your expectations for where volumes, I guess, first industry-wide uh, should go from here? Are we actually going to see some prolonged relief or not? Yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, I think what we should see for volumes this year, probably low single-digit growth uh, in starts and, and in existing home sales. But then when you start to think in, in terms of 25, um, what we're expecting there is probably about 10% resales. Um, and then on the new home side, thinking 5 to 7% growth is our realistic targets for next year. Okay, um, that, which seems reasonable. I mean, the line in terms of uh, home builder stocks in particular has been emphasizing the advantages that new builders have had. Uh, you know, we've got scarcity of, of supply, their ability to buy down rates. Is that advantage diminishing or is it just, you know, there, there's so much that we uh, that we need to meet demand that they'll be OK? Um, I think the in terms of the demand that's out there, you think about the millennials and now the Gen Z's. Those are two of the largest population groups, we, largest population groups we've seen since the baby boomers. Um, so, you know, we can't build build into until in, into the sunset. But I do think there's a lot of opportunities for the home builder still. Um, the other way that we think about supply is is about 76 percent of outseeing mortgages right now have a rate below five percent. So I think a lot of people, uh, you know, if, if mortgage rates stay in high six or low sixes, high fives context as, as we move into the spring. Um, maybe that prolongs the, the lock-in effect. Some of those people who are in the homes at, at those lower rates don't move unless they have to move. And so, yeah, I think that's going to help the builders continue to take market share away from existing homes. may not be permanent market share gains, but I think at least in, in this environment, if, if we stay with a five handle or, or above on a mortgage rate, that, that's going to be beneficial for the home builders who, like you said, can buy down mortgage rates, can offer incentives. They can do some things that your average existing home seller can't do. I mean, the, the builder stocks obviously have had just a great run, Lennar among them. Uh, you've also been focused, though, on this um, tendency for, for a seasonal trade to develop in this group. What does that tell you based on history? Yeah, historically, um, buying the home builders in October or November um, and then selling them around April or May, you know, call it right around tax season, um, historically has been a good trade. Uh, and that trade, is, as we talk about in our note, has generated, um, on average, more alpha uh, than holding the S&P 500 during that period. Um, I do think there's a potential, certainly this year, for, for the group to, to, to see a seasonal trade again. Um, the ITB is up about 28 percent from since July 1st, um, which is, you know, the ITB and the XHB are the ETFs that, that we monitor. Um, so may, maybe that is working against it. But I would also mm -hmm. say that if, if mortgage rates continue to move lower, again, uh, into a five handle instead of a six handle. Uh, that should be good for affordability and, and I think would probably be good for, for demand this spring. What in particular should we be looking for in the Lennar results um, in terms of where the bar is set for expectations? I know you also uh, have talked about this idea of a potential spinoff of the land. Sure. Um, so if you think about what mortgage rates did during their quarter and, it, and it's an August quarter end, um, mortgage rates went down pretty dramatically from, from um, call it 6.8% on the 30 year at the beginning of August down to, you know, now we're sitting at 6.1. So what I think we'll hear is that demand may have started a little slow in, in um, June for the quarter, but then July and August, I'm, I'm expecting to hear that demand improved. Um, and, and I would assume for September, they're still seeing the same trends as, as mortgage rates continue to move lower. Um, they, they have mentioned the last couple of conference calls that they are wanting to spin off um, the, their, some of their work in process land assets. Um, we, we gave it the name land spin. That's not a Lenar term. That's something we came up with. But um, it, basically, it would, if they're able to achieve the land spin, would help improve their return on equity metrics and some of the other metrics that, that we watch on the stocks. Um, and I think also what we might hear from them is that with, with prices or with mortgage rates coming down, uh, that might give them a little more pricing power than what we're expecting, uh, which could potentially be positive for gross margins for the balance of this year and, and into fiscal 25.